Hello, 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 everybody. We're going to wait a few seconds for everybody to hop on. And I am just getting some mirror card stock here. Hi, D. Yes, Leah is here with me. Leah, say hi. Hi. She's on the floor coloring. I am just trying to get my desk semi organized here. I'm not doing a very good about it. Okay. So. I wanted to tell you guys, hello, Nikki. Hello, Cindy. Hi, Jennifer. Wow, you guys are popping on here quick. So, so, so what are we going to do today? Okay, so the first thing I wanted to show you guys was I made some cute cards. Um, I know you guys hear me say all the time to join the Brutus Monroe Embossing Powder Club. And I wanted to show you this is the new one. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Bunny. Hi, Kaylin. So this embossing powder, can you see it? It's red and it has beautiful gold sparkle in it. This was part of the newest Brutus Monroe embossing powder of the month. And it is called Christmas Eve. I love getting these embossing powders. They come in these cute little boxes. Let me show you guys. So every month this tiny little box shows up. If I could get mine open. And they always have this fun, pretty crinkle paper in there. And I save it so that when I do giveaways for you guys, I can reuse it. But that was this month's. It's called Christmas Eve. D is getting, did I see? Yes, D, I loved it. Hi, Angela. Um, so that's from Beauty Row. This die cut, I think it's an older Stampin' Up! one. Okay. Um... This embossing powder came out of the brand new Hero Arts um, kit. Did I show you guys that? I don't think I showed it to you guys. Hold on. Let me get that. All right. So here is the new Hero Arts kit if I didn't show it to you guys. All right. Um, let me read your questions here. Do, 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 do. Nikki, yes, $8 a month for the embossing powder. Oh, um, $8 a month for the embossing powder of the month from Brutus Monroe. And you get a very nice size of embossing powder. Let me show you. If I can find it. Here it is. Um, it's a very nice size jar. I mean, here's a Hero Arts one that I get out of the Hero Arts kit. So it's a little bit bigger than that. And then what I normally do is I swatch it out. Yeah, D, it, it, um, it's all, it's, um, you know, sometimes there's glitter in it. Sometimes there isn't. But the way I look at it is it's $8 a month. So it's like $5 for the embossing powder and $3 for shipping. That's how I look at it. And every month it's something new and it builds up your collection. So this is the new one, Christmas Eve. I haven't been disappointed yet. I think they're all pretty cool, and it's not something you would normally find in a store. All right, so that that card was made with that Christmas Eve, okay? All right, um, the next two were made with the two that came out of the Hero Arts kit. So this one is called Green Gold, and it's a very shiny green. It's very thick. That's why it looks kind of, um, I don't know the best word to describe. It's not as smooth because it's very thick embossing powder. And then it has little tiny flecks of gold in it. Not gold, like sparkly, metallic, glittery gold, just gold. So I don't know if you guys can see that there. All right. With a really dark green with some gold flecks in it. So I thought that was really Christmassy. And then this is the Hero Arts Gold on this one. And so the Hero Arts kit came wrapped in this beautiful green ribbon and it came with look I didn't even open it yet 
I don't know if this is still available or not. Normally I do an unboxing and I just had a very busy week at work and hopefully things will go back to normal next week. What I liked about this month's kit was, first of all, background stamp. Who doesn't need background stamps? I love background stamp. But what's cool about this background stamp is there are three ornaments on here that actually pop out. So you can use these ornaments individually here. Um, so that I thought that was pretty cool. And put them back in there now. But I find background stamps are very versatile. I have a whole drawer of them. I usually get them from Impression Obsession. I love their backgrounds. They usually have a sale when you go to the stamp show where it's like buy three, get one free or something like that. Um, and then inside this kit was this tiny little mini kit of um, photopolymer stamps and a full background die. So the idea is, and if you go watch, um, what is her name? Nicole... I can't think of her name. Help me out. Nicole does these great hero arts cards and kits. And also Yana Smakula does as well. But the idea is you can make an advent calendar. So this actually cuts out those, or sorry, doesn't cut out. It makes little doors. So what happens is half of these are, um, half of the die cut. I'll just show you. <laughs> Hold on. I'm just going to run a piece of paper in there and we'll see what it does. Because I haven't done it yet. So I'll just put it through here and we'll all see together what it does. So my understanding is it's like an advent calendar set. And what this does is it makes little doors that open up. All right. So there you can see the tops of the ornaments don't cut. So this opens little doors. I mean, if you wanted to cut them off, could. But it was designed to be like an advent calendar style where you take these tiny little photopolymer stamps and you stamp those behind the doors here, um, which the this background stamp will decorate the front of your advent calendar. And then as you open these up, you have these little guys underneath to display that. So that's the Hero Arts Kit. So that was a neat idea. I don't think this is something I would normally like go out of my way to get, but I joined the, the monthly kit. Here's the other thing I like that they started doing. They have the actual directions on the back of the card here, how to align the die, how to align the stamp set, and what the kit contains before they wouldn't tell us really what was in there. So that was pretty neat. Hi, Melanie. Yeah, Nicole Spore, something like that. All right, and then you get both the embossing powders, you get the green gold, and then you also get the gold. So I think it's a pretty neat set. I don't know if it's available or not still. You'll have to go over to Hero Arts, my monthly hero kit, and look it up. Okay, on to other things. Uh, yes, tomorrow we're going to do the five thousand subscriber giveaway i can't believe it hi terry hi cindy cindy i lived in missouri for a bit um but we're actually going to have one two three four boxes in the giveaway that's right four boxes in the giveaway so the first item I'm going to give away, as you guys know, is going to be this mini watercolor kit, which I already showed a video on that. The second item I'm going to give away is um, what I'm going to call my winter box. And you guys saw that I did this last year. Um, oh, here's a card I did with some of the Stampin' Up! stamps. So I'll show you that. Um, the winter box I did last year, this is going to be very similar to the winter box last year. So let me show you guys what's in the winter box. 
And again, I purchase all these items. I don't have anybody sponsor me. So I hope you appreciate and like them. Um, Cause I, I think, what would I like to get in the mail? Hello, Angela. Hello, Vey. Hello from Michigan Cardstock Collector. All right, so this is going to be what I'm calling the winter box. And in order to use the winter box, you must have a mink or a laminator. So if I call your name as the winner of this box and you do not have a mink or a laminator, you're going to have to get one because this is going to be foiling stuff. So I'm going to give the winner of the winter box a collection of Creative Vision stamps foilable. So this one says Holly Jolly Christmas. Believe in the magic of Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And it's the most wonderful time of the year. And these are all foilables. Hi, Sherry. And then I put in a number of Christmassy holiday backgrounds. And these are all printed with high quality toner on high quality paper. Um, so here are these three are like snowflake looking ones. So, um, You'll see with the foil, it's so easy to use these. And if you don't win the box and you like these items, you can go over to creativevisionstamps.com and order them. I think you'll find they're very reasonable. Just go under foilables and you get big sheets of these. Um, and then also a copy of the tags. And then I threw in instructions for you there. And I'm going to put them in a little protective sleeve here because you want to protect those. You don't want those to get scratched up. Um, I have some embossing powder. So this is Zing Silver Embossing Powder. This is um, Festive Berries Distress Glitter. Glitter. This gold one is embossing powder. I emboss the top so you can see what it is. Very similar to the Hero Arts embossing powder. Um, I have a little baggie of fake snow. You guys, this baggie was at Target. I don't know if you can snatch it up, but this is great for shaker cards. Okay. And, of course, everybody's favorite, Marvy Snow Pen. So if you don't know what the snow marker is, what it does is when you heat and when you put the snow marker down, it's an opaque marker. But when you heat it up, it actually puffs up a little bit. So it really looks like snow. So you have the fake snow for shaker cards, and then you have this on the outside. And then I'm going to give you, I think, some nice festive colors of foils. So we have, like, this is... Um, a dark berry color. This is the holographic shimmery one. We have, of course, traditional red, traditional green. We have another silver, almost like holographic-y kind of looking, um, a darker blue, and then a regular silver. All right. I thought I cut I thought I had gold too. You're also going to get a gold. I'm pretty sure I cut out a gold, but I will also make sure that a gold goes in there. So I thought these would be nice traditional colors. These are Creative Vision Stamps foils. When you use these foils, um, you will find that they're superb, very good quality foil. So I will wrap those up in a little tube. And so this is the winter box. So somebody's going to win this as part of our 5,000 subscriber giveaway. Somebody's going to win the paint palette. Somebody is going to win my press and go foil machine. I don't use it, guys. I've had it for a year and I've only used it maybe a handful of times. The most I used it was on the video that I showed you guys. Um, since I got this from Crafter's Companion, I really have just enjoyed this more because I have the Gemini. So I'm going to keep this one and I'm going to give the other one away as long as you guys don't mind that it is slightly used. Um, so that's going to be a giveaway item. And then the last thing I'm going to give away is just a, a box of odds and ends. I'm going to call it. I'm not going to show you everything that's in the box. I will show you some of the things that are in the box. Um, and Leah helped me build this box. So if you don't like this box, shame on you. Because my five-year-old built this box. And I think she did a pretty good job with this box. All right, so this odds and end box will have in it um, a collection of some wooden stamps. Um, Leah is donating these stamps. They're very pretty, and I think she did a good job at picking them out. Thank you, Leah. They're, I'll tell you they're flowery, um, which will go well with this embossing folder. 
Um, you're going to get these two sets of Gemini dies, which I have never used. And the Crafter's Companion Clear Acrylic Stamp Set, which I will be honest, I think I used it one time. All right, so you'll be getting those. And then you're going to get a Brutus Monroe Squeaky Clean Dispenser. And you're going to get a little baggie of embossing powder. I think there's black, there's white, there's clear, there's different kinds of gold, gold sparkle in there. Those are embossing powders. Um, um, a larger thing of black embossing powder. And then this is a, te a mini texture paste, which has never been opened. So that's going to be in that box. Oh, and one of the beloved ribbon tying that my friend Kim and her husband Rick have made for us. So we are going to donate one of those. And when you get this, these holes do open up as you use them. They are a little tight when you first get them. Um, but they, you'll see, I've, if you guys have seen my videos, they do a really good job at making you tie little ribbons. Okay, so that's, I'm calling that one the odds and end box because it has a little bit of everything in it. And Leah will make a card to go in that one. So we have the paint palette, the winter box, the odds and end box, and the go press and foil. So we will be doing the giveaway on these tomorrow. So hopefully I can get them in the mail to you guys next week. Crossing my fingers, depending on how busy it is at work. Okay. All right, so the reason we are all here today, because you guys are so awesome, is we want to play around with the foil press machine a little more. You guys, the questions that you ask are amazing. I will try to remember them all and get to them all. Um, I posted a card, and I don't have the card now because I gave it away as a gift, but I posted a card on my Instagram today and my Facebook page with a foiled butterfly. So first thing we're going to do is turn this on. So there is a little power button over here. You guys don't need the Gemini machine in view, right? Because that's off to the side. If you want me to bring the cutter into view, I'll bring it into view. But I don't think you guys need it. So we're going to turn that power button on on the outside. I'm trying to bring this in the frame so you guys can see the whole thing. Okay. And then turn the power on here. And we want it on low. And this is just going to preheat it. Now, some... Um, Huge questions that you guys have asked me. Um, once again, this is not the same as the foil box I just showed you using Deco foil or using Creative Vision stamps foil or using um, foil bowls or toner printed. It's completely different. If you want a video on the mink and you want a video on those kinds of items, you got to check out my video, which is called Battle of the Foiling Machines. Second question asked was, what's the big deal between this and the Grow Press machine? So. Again, two different machines, same concept, same idea. Both of them, um, the Go Press and Foil machine has been out longer than this machine. This machine was just launched. But I say, look at what you have. Um, again, Crafters Companion did very generously send me this machine to review. I started to do reviews on it and they didn't like some of the things that I was doing. I was crossing the line and they asked me to stop doing some of those things because they don't want anyone getting the wrong idea and doing the wrong thing with their machine and breaking their go their foil press machine or breaking your Gemini. So I've stopped doing some of those um, experimental things. The question you guys have asked me is, will this fit in a... Um, manual die cutter, such as a Sizzix machine, like a Big Shot or a Big Kick? Will it fit in a Cuddlebug machine? And the answer is, you will have to experiment on your own. That's the only answer I can give you. Um, I did get it to work in my Big Shot, and I think that it works safely, but I do not want to demonstrate that to you guys and have anybody break their machine. So I cannot show you that. Um, it is designed, this machine is designed to work in the Gemini or the Gemini Junior. Now, if you have a full-size Gemini, it is designed to work in the Gemini, but you must have the adapter plate. And the adapter plate, what it does is it sets off the three different um, sensors in the machine for it to work in the Gemini. Okay, the regular full-size Gemini. 
Someone asked me, what's, what's, um, what are some of the things this can do that the foil press, the go press and machine can't go do? Um, again, it's just a matter of your manual die cutting machines. Hi, Kim. Hi, Judy. Um, the go press and foil machine will work with Toto dies. This will not. The go press and machine will go through your manual die cutting machine. This officially will not. And Crafters Companion does not want you using Toto dies or using this in a manual die cutter. They want this to go through the Gemini. Um, embossing folders. Honestly, guys, I tried the embossing folders with this. It doesn't work yet. I'm going to still play around and experiment with it. Once I have an answer, I will let you guys know. But as of this point, I cannot get embossing folders to work with this machine. I can get it to work with the Go Press and Foil machine. Why do I like this machine? Well, number one, it fits in my Gemini. Number two, um, it has temperature settings here. So you have low, medium, high, and it has a timer setting. Um, the other thing that I read online, um, there is a couple of links. If you have the Go Press and Foil machine, by all means, keep it, use it. I'm not saying you have to go out and throw that out and buy this one. I'm saying if you have one or the other, they will do the same thing, hot foiling. Use what you have. That's all. Um, so this is telling us it's ready. I have purchased a little basket. It's not so little. <laughs> And I have put all of my hot foil hot foils in here. So I have my Spellbinders hot foil, which is called Glimmer. I have my Toto foils, you guys can see here. And then all of these little guys over here, these are, yeah, every single color that HSN offered. I kind of went and bought up all the foil. So there is um, paper foil and there is also what's called multi-surface foil. So it says here on the front, multi-surface foil, paper craft foil. And um, they are all uh, basically almost uh, six inches by 15 yards. So just over 15 yards. And all of these companies have the same measurements when it comes out to um, the foil. So all of these companies will foil as well as the Couture foil, which I said in a previous video, you can get a lot of these online. Simon says stamp has this foil. You just want to make sure that it's hot foil, not regular deco foil. Um, Scrapbooking Made Simple has them. Simon says stamp has them. HSN has them. There's a lot of hot foiling companies out there that you can use as well as hot foil dies. As long as they are a wafer thin dye, they will work in this machine. I do have links. You'll just have to go down and read the comments. Somebody very nicely said if you have the go press and foil machine, she found a very good teacher. Um, to give you guys advice on using that machine. And it's really just about finding the right shim for that machine. Okay, we are going to be doing foil on foil. What? That's right. We can't get enough foil. So we're going to foil on top of foil. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this. I foiled by accident. This is what happens when you don't pay attention to your foil. So my die is foil. <laughs> and it's not coming off. It's permanently foiled, but it looks pretty. All right, let me look at you guys' questions here. Correct. Yes, this machine, and I've said this before, will not fit in any machine except for the, the Gemini or the Gemini Junior. I Yeah, I did say that, airline. Thank you. Um, hello, Sheila. Wonder if they'll be coming, if they'll come out with a larger. This machine, Angela, will work with the Gemini uh, full size, but you need to have the adapter plate, which comes all the way out. What's the difference on the Gemini foil? Um, I will say this, the Gemini foil, the Crafter's Companion foil, I have found to be a much better quality foil. It does heat up faster at a lower temperature. You don't have to go to medium high. Any of the other foils that I've been using, I've noticed you have to go to a medium or a high, which tells me the go press machine heats up to a much hotter temperature. I also noticed that because when I pull this plate out, it's manageable. It's a little warm. I wouldn't have elderly people or children play with these machines. Either one of them, they can get kind of warm. But for this one, for the most part, if you grab it by the handle and grab it by the top up here, you're really not going to burn your fingers. But again, everybody has different 
sensitivity to that. Um, the Gemini foil is who who makes paper craft? You'll have to tell me who paper craft foil is. Oh, well, what's the difference between oh paper foil and multi surface? Okay, so we're gonna try that today as well because I really haven't played with the multi surface foil. So. Paper craft foil is to be used on paper as well as, and you get your little instruction book here. Okay, so card stock, pearlescent card, vellum, mirror card, acetate sheets. I don't know what PU is, some kind of PU leather, fabric, and satin ribbon. So paper craft foil rolls, the purple ones, will work on all of those items. Multi-surface foil rolls are for leather and fabric, which I'm guessing are going to be much thicker items. So that's the difference. You cannot use the embossing folders because you can't run the embossing folders through the machine. So I hope that explains the difference. So one is purple, one is pink. Uh, Multi-surface is pink, but I've gotten the multi-surface to work on paper as well. So you don't only have to use it on you can use it on, on anything all right so we're going to take i think we'll do this teal one since we already did a pink butterfly and we're going to do our pink where'd my butterfly go here we go so we're going to put that on there now i consider this pretty large die and we're going to do it on mirror card so a large die needs to be low setting 30 seconds so we're going to oh another tip someone told me is if you are not going to be using this continuously leave it unplugged until you're ready to start uh, working with it so we're going to put the timer on 30 seconds And we are going to have that warm up the die. In the meantime, I have my mirror card ready. And this is a mirror card that I bought last year um, in a Crafter's Companion pack. I'm going to be using the paper craft foil in this beautiful teal color, which is taped here. And that is some heavy duty tape. I love all your questions. Keep asking and I will try to answer them. So we want to do colored side down, colored side down. We want to do the matte side up. And because this is a cut and foil die, we're going to put our mirror card on there. And I just feel, make sure that the edges are covered. Probably should have had that ready. I am just going to hit that again. Sorry, guys. I always am afraid I'm going to underfoil. Okay, and because we're going to cut this, we need our metal adapter plate. Because we don't want to cut into this mat. Although I've heard that it, it's not going to hurt it. see here and go ahead ask me questions hi nikki hi Bay. Bay, i do love this butterfly die i have made a million butterflies with <laughs> all right so now what we're going to do because we want this to cut and we don't want it to cut into our carbon fiber plate is we're going to put our metal shim down you can either use this metal shim or you can use the metal shim that came with your gemini junior and we're going to take this out and run it over to our gemini junior So right here, I would normally plug it in, but one of you guys told me not to do that, that it will wear down the life of the plate. So we can see that the butterfly is cut. We can see that it is embossed. The question is, did it foil on the mirror card? Oh, it missed cutting that one spot there. Oh, there we go. Ready? 
can't get it off. What do you guys think? That is beautifully foiled. It's like a rose gold card foil card with teal foil. Isn't that beautiful? So it's foil on top of foil. And now we want to use this, right? Because we don't want to we don't want to have any waste. So let me show you guys that. We're going to take the die off and let that cool down on the silicone mat. Okay, I have my notes written down for waste. So how we do waste is, again, color side down. Let's go. Okay, colored side down. And I have, I have a dark blue piece of cardstock here. So we're going to do cardstock. And then we said... Magnetic shim, right? Where's my note? Uh, paper shim, sorry. Paper shim. So I'm doing two pieces of cardstock for my paper shim because we want that to be pretty thick. And then magnetic shim, which again comes from your Gemini Junior machine. That is the flexible magnetic shim. Right, and then we want to do, I found my best success with this was medium heat for 45 seconds. So we're going to turn our heat to medium. We're going to turn our timer up to 45 seconds. We don't want to start it yet until this red light turns green. That tells us that it's up to temperature. So that shouldn't take too long. All right, and this is just my sandwich that I found with using the waste. So I have my foil, colored side up, or colored side down, yeah, silver side up. I have my cardstock that I want to put it on. I have two pieces of paper for my shim. I have my magnetic shim, and then I have my top plate, right? So we have all of these. And then we have it set for medium, 45 seconds. As soon as that turns green, we're going to hit start. And we should be able to cut that. Oh, Nick, I'm sorry you feel that way. I think I'm going to have to uninvite you here, buddy. All right, let me run this through. see how this looks. Wait, did I hit start? <laughs> You're right, Kylan. I didn't heat it first. You're right. Let's not pull that open yet. Let's start this. Hi, Pete. Welcome. All right, now let's run that through.
we heated it. So we're pulling off our magnetic shim, our top plate, our paper shims. Hopefully this worked. We'll find out in a second. Unplug that. So this was the waste from the foiled butterfly that we did. We need a little pokey tool here. All right, so I can tell already it didn't foil completely. I'll show you guys here. I think I didn't have enough pressure. So it's kind of a distressed butterfly. Yeah, Rhonda, I was able to get on my phone and get him off of there. I don't normally have a problem, but I have my phone out, so... All right. So, you know, if you would have a, another shim, I think it would have foiled it more completely. But just to show you, you can use it. And then you can actually take the die. And if you wanted to, we can cut this out. So let me show you that. And you would just cut this out whoops, like a normal die. The cutting plate. So we would do cutting plate. And you could actually cut the die first, and then if you wanted to foil it, foil it. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and line it up here. And then we have our magnetic shim. Which is stuck onto old foiling. There we go. All right, I'm going to run this through, and we'll cut it out and see how well I lined it up. Oh, what happened? You guys aren't seeing me. I think there's a little time delay. Am I back yet? All right, Kim sees me. Bunny, are we okay? Okay, good. All right, so I lined it up pretty well, I think. So now what it did is it cut out the waste and it is embossed. And like I said, if you like the distressed look, that looks pretty cool. All right. So I hope they come out with more cut and foil dies, but that's that. Um, the other thing I want to try to do, which I haven't done yet, so let's guinea pig experiment with it, is um, doing foiling on mixed media things. You guys have asked me about that. Let me read some of your questions here real quick. I thought you're not supposed to use the green cover sheet until you run it through the machine. Sheila, I like to have that on there to keep all of the heat in there. I feel like if you take this off and let it heat up, all that heat is dissipating. And we need that heat to activate the foil. That's why I leave mine on there. I think it's just personal preference um, on that. Okay, so I wanted to do mixed media, not just, um, where'd my little mixed media pack go? I am so disorganized today, guys. No, Leah's over here trying to help me point at things. Because I know some of you guys, oh, right in front of my face, of course. So this, some of you guys got with your Gemini. Junior and um, Crafters Companion sent me this to experiment with. So, so there's some cork here. There's some burlap pieces. There's some little tiny wood pieces. Some blue jean pieces. And I think this is like chalkboard material there. So let's try experimenting with this. Now here's my concern. This has an adhesive back. So I don't think I want to leave it in there too hot. So let's see here. I'm just going to cut a little sliver of this off. I think we'll go and use some of the Christmas sentiments on this and see how it works out. So let's this cut down. Oh, it cuts like wood. All 
right, so let me grab my little dies. And notice how I'm leaving this unplugged until we get there. Thank you, Angela. I appreciate that because some people are like, you talk too much, you should edit your videos. And I feel like when I'm watching videos, I want to see what's going on and I want to see the mistakes that are being made. Because if I make the mistakes and you guys see it, then hopefully you don't make the same mistakes. All right, we're going to vote here. Um, so, yeah, this is adhesive back wood, Cindy. Um, it's like very thin. I don't know what kind of wood it is, but it is real wood. So I think I want to use, this is an Anna Griffin or a Couture's Creation die. It says Seasons Greetings. And so we're going to put that on our plate to heat up. And let me check our instructions. Thank you, Tracy. All right, so... Doesn't say what wood is. I don't know if it's supposed to be. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do. Um, let's do the multi surface foil rolls because I think that is a uh, multi surface for us to try it on. <laughs> okay, so multi surface colors we have. Ugh. We have silver. Nope. Sorry, my bad. Wrong one. We do have silver. Okay, we got a lot to choose from here. So think of something Christmassy you want to see. Now remember that wood is a light color. So I think we should use a dark contrasting color. So we have a uh, fuchsia, teal. Ooh, like this holographic silver. I don't think that'll show up too good on the light wood though. Gold. Uh, I think this is rose gold. Yep, rose gold. Red, green, and silver. Go ahead and vote, guys. What do you think will look good on the wood? We have silver, green, red, gold, and rose gold. I see red. I see green. I see red. Red. Looks like red is winning here. All right, we're going to try red for this one. So this is multi-surface roll in, they call it berry. The hardest part is finding the opening to the foil. We want to cut our foil to approximately the same size as our design. Now, if you don't want to have over foiling... You should cut those corners off and kind of round it off a little bit because those corners tend to bend down. And when they bend down, we get over foiling or it sticks where we don't want it to stick. We'll do rose gold on the next one, guys. I was torn too. I did like the rose gold. All right. So we're going to call this a medium dye. It says high temperature. 25 seconds. So we're going to move this to high. It's going to be red. Suggestion is to move the move these move this to paper. Hey, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Since we're going red. Oh, here's my problem though. I don't want to put that on paper yet until I know that I have it centered. Because that's one of my pet peeves is I got to kind of do this upside down. I can't do it like this and then put it on top. I guess you could. We could try it on the next one. So I'm going to center this as best as I can. We need our red foil. Pretty side down. Ugly side up. Okay. This is not a cut die. It's just a... Um, stamp and die so it's on high heat we want 25 seconds right so i'm using the wood thin wood 
And we're going to say this is a medium die. We're going to do 25 seconds. We are using the multi-surface roll. And this is just a foil stamp die. So I think I'm following the directions correctly here. All right, now I really wish I had the stag head because how cool is that? Can you guys see how cool that is? And then what I can do is figure out, make sure this is centered because I do see it's a little crooked, cut it down to the right side size and then mount it onto my uh, cardstock because this is sticky back so I can it's already got the adhesive on there okay let's do another one that was cool let's do should we do a piece of this what is this called burlap let's change our sentiment out let's go with a different one and we'll do the green this time I have my silicone mat at the top here so that I can take these off and let them cool down. All right, let me cut this down. I have my trimmer off to the side here. Did you come over to say hello? Hi. I said hi already. Oh, she said she says hi already. Okay, so we want this to three and three corners. It kind of looks like, like a net. It looks like a net. It looks like like itchy fabric. It kind of looks like the stuff that, that um, baskets have on them. Yeah, it does kind of look like stuff baskets have on them. All right, so for this one, we have another sentiment. This one says, Merry Christmas. And you can find these um, at, I found them, well, I got them from HSN, but they're not on HSN. So if you like these, you can actually find them at Scrapbooking Made Simple. And they're Couture Creations Hot Foil Stamps, Hot Foil Dies, and Hot Foil. And for those of you just joining us, don't hesitate to ask me any questions. We are playing around and um, doing this live so that um, we know what works and what doesn't work with this. So that I will waste all my foil and my stuff so you guys don't have to. Because I know this stuff is not cheap. And I notice there's not a lot of tutorial videos out there. So if I can help you guys out, that's what I'm here to do. Okay, so we are going to do Merry Christmas. We're going to do green foil. We're going to do our burlap. Right, And then we are going to have it uh, heat up on high. And again, you could refoil this if you wanted to refoil that. I want my foil just kind of in a pile. What are these for? Have I tried the Stampin' Up! dies? Um, yes. In fact, that reminds me I wanted to demonstrate something else. So let me grab those. No, no, I need that because sometimes bad people say bad things and mommy has to kick them out. So I need my phone, okay? okay. That's it, then I can see. Once that turns green, listen, once that turns green, you hit this button, button right here. Okay. Don't touch this. Push that. So when that goes green, it's going to beep. You push that, okay? And then it's going to count backwards for us. Okay. While well, mommy tries to find a very pretty dye. <laughs> Mm 
Are you having fun watching? <laughs> do, you, do you think everybody else is having fun watching? Yeah. Ooh. And I hope they thumbs up. You hope they thumbs up? Thank you. How about this guy? Oh, yeah. You like him? Yeah. Why are there words on the back now? Because I write the name of the companies on the back. Because Mommy has a bad memory and can't remember where I got them from. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That funny to you? How did you not open the, the bucket of snow yet? You don't need to open that yet. Oh, it's on zero. It beeped. It beeped. Do I press the off button? Can I press the off button? Nope, you're going to move out of my way because you're in the way of my Gemini. <laughs> beep, beep. Coming through. All right, so this is multi surface foil. Let's see if this worked. Using green on burlap. It's beautiful. Oh, you guys can't see it. Let's see here. There we go. Can you see how beautifully that foiled? Every piece of it is foiled. There's no overfoiling. And if you do, actually, there is a little bit of overfoiling. I can see it over here. If you in this case, I'd probably use a die and cut it out, but if you get overfoiling on, look, I have this little uh, wreath die. If you get overfoiling, you can use a mono eraser and erase it. It'll come right off. So pretty. Okay, so we're going to take Merry Christmas out of here. Okay. I wanted to show you guys because someone had asked about using other companies' dies. And I wanted to explain using the front side and using the back side of a die. So we are going to use this pine cone die, which I think is, um, I don't know who, who I got this from. I think it's Impression Obsession. I'm not sure, guys. Don't count me on that. Um, yes. So there is a grid and a ruler. Let me show you. The grid and ruler is at the very top here. There's a zero center point, and then it goes all the way out, and also at the top. And the actual purple mat itself, I know it's hard for the camera to pick up, but there is, do you see the grid lines there? So, yes, there is grid lines there. Okay, so um, Sheila says this is a Stampin' Up! Um, die, which it very may well be. I didn't label this one, so I'm not sure, Sheila. But I want to show you guys what the difference is between foiling the cutting side and foiling what I call the back side, because I think this looks pretty cool if you foil it on either side, right? So this is where this is pretty handy. Great. Thank you, Sheila. This came with a larger one and a smaller one, right, Sheila? You would think I know because I used to sell Stampin' Up. I still do, but just not as much. All right. So, um, we're going to heat this up and we're going to do, um, we're going to change this back to low because we're this is a regular die. So what it's telling is cool. That means this is too hot. We need to back off. So we're going to pull this off of here. And actually I'm going to do two at once. I also have these two little deers from Impression Obsession. We have a doe and a, a buck. Here's the problem. If I do the back side of this buck, um, well, no, actually we can cut it out. We're going to do both. We're going to do, first we're going to do, um, we're just going to do this one first and then I'll go into this one because this is a completely different way. So Kathy, that's what I'm going to try to demonstrate here is yes, you can do that. I just want to make sure that I have some paper cut out here for you guys. Oh, bless you, Leah. We need paper. The paper that I'm using is Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock, which is my go to paper when I'm doing card making. And you see 
give that guy a minute to cool down and I'm just cutting some little pieces of paper for us. some paper for us and we need to pick out a foil color so I don't think I have a dark brown let's pick out something else maybe the rose gold would that look good let's see here for this one we can use any of our foils and again I know today I'm only demonstrating with crafters companion Gemini foil, but you can use Toto foil, you can use Spellbinders foil, you can use uh, Couture Creations foil, you can use any of those. I think we're going to use the rose gold, and this is the multi surface rose gold. The multi surface foils do take a little bit more heat than the paper foils, I noticed that. Like somebody was generous with the tape on this one. You know, maybe they haven't heard of post-it tape, which is not so sticky. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate the same die two ways. All right, so let's see. Cool down enough. Great. So we have it on low. Now I have this cutting side up. So this is our die. If we ran this through the die cutter, this is the side that would cut. So we're going to put our pretty foil down. Can Leah, can you turn that heat off? Um, pretty side down. We're going to put our paper on there. And we don't want to cut, so we are not going to put a metal plate on here. We just want a foil, so we're just going to put our cover plate on here. And we're going to say 10 seconds on this one. Actually, this is the multi-surface foil, so we might need to do a little longer. We'll start with 10 seconds and see what it does. Because in our book, it says, uh, foil stamp dies are regular dies. Small die, low, 10 seconds. But because we're using the multi-surface, you know what? I'm going to go to 15 seconds. Let's see if that works. Start. So we have our regular cutting die face up. We're using the rose gold multi-surface foil, piece of cardstock, and our uh, carbon fiber plate. Low setting, 15 seconds. Let's see if this takes. Sandy, what I found for the other companies, which would be Spellbinders, Toto, and Couture Creations, because they're working on a hotter machine, is medium and 45 seconds. All right, so here you can see, because we did the cutting side of the die, okay, so this is the cutting side of the die, it only fo foils where it cuts. Now this is a little faint, I think we could have did it a little longer, it's very pretty though. A little higher heat, a little longer. Right. So now I want to show you what happens when you foil the other side of the die. Now, because this is a cutting die, we don't want to cut into our mat. Right. So we're going to kind of do our sandwich a little backwards here. We're going to put our paper down first. And we're going to put our foil down. And we're going to put the back side down. So the cutting side is still facing up. We have the back side facing down. Does that make sense? So we have the paper down first, we have the foil down, and then we have our die, which we're going to, we want to foil the back side, not the cutting side. You never want the cutting side to touch your purple mat or you will cut up your purple mat. All right, so we're going to do that. And I think because we do want a little bit um, more on this one, I am going to go to medium and let's try medium for 20 seconds. So we're going to wait till it heats up to medium. I like to put the lid on just to warm it up. 
Thank you, Mary. I hope you guys are learning something to help you out. Thank you, Nikki. You guys are awesome. Kathy, can you cut and boil one operation? Yes, Kathy. I just did that with the butterfly dye. Okay, so now we're heated up. Kathy, this video will go into my video um, uh, library, I guess, and you'll be able to rewatch it from the beginning. Although we are running out of time here, and I'm pretty sure YouTube's going to tell me to stop making these videos so long. All right, let's try this. And that's what I like about this machine is once you figure out your timing for what you're doing, it makes it very easy. Um, and I make little notes to foil everything. Okay, so I can see here this is not completely foiled. And I think it's a number of things. I think um, it's heat and pressure. I think I need a little shim on this guy. So we're going to put that back on there. Line it up. And so I haven't wasted anything because I know it didn't foil properly. Otherwise, you would take that out and throw it away, right? So we're going to line it back up. And I'm going to up the time to 30 seconds. And going to hit start. And before I run that through, I think I'm going to put my two little paper shims in there to give it a little more weight or you could use your like your magnetic plate or your embossing shim I'm just going to use this paper Grace it's never too late if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask and again I've done five or six video guys so you can go back to the playlist on foiling and I've done them with the Mink Machine. I've done them with Gemini Foil Press Machine. I've done them with the Go Press Machine. And there's a lot of uh, questions and links to other companies that also have videos that you guys can learn from. So now let's try this. There we go. A little better. Probably need a little more heat. But basic idea what I wanted to show you is you can foil both sides of your dies. This is a Stampin' Up! die, which is a Sizzix die. So you can see if we foil the cutting side of the die, that's what's going to cut out. If you foil the back side of the die, that's what's going to come out. Now, the next question was, how do I cut this out? Well, because we would line this up and cut it out, but this is not a symmetrical die, so it's not going to cut. Well, you could cut it out this way. You can line it up this way and cut it out. Let's cut it out. Why not? We're already here. Don't want to leave any cliffhangers. So I'm going to put this on my Gemini. Because it's not symmetrical, we can't cut out the front part like we could with the butterfly. So we're going to run this through the Gemini and cut it out and see what happens. Because that's why you guys have all of those big, beautiful dyes in your drawers. Yeah, that would have been the smart thing to do. You're right. Cut it, cut it first and then foil it. <laughs> I wasn't planning on cutting it. I was just going to show the demonstration of the two dies. Now, this little guy has a little tiny pieces, but because he went through our Gemini, they are all popping out very easily here. Now, one of you guys who has the machine says you're uh, plate is is bowing. Um, that's 
that's the first problem I've ever had anybody tell me about it. Um, so I'm not sure. So here you can see it's just like if you had cut it out of foil paper. Obviously, it has that distressed kind of look because we didn't leave uh, enough heat on it is my guess. Um, because we're using the multi-surface rolls. But you could use regular paper foil on this or cut it out. Ooh, how about if we cut it out of the, the burlap or the wood paper? So to answer the question, yes, you can use the dyes you already have in your collection. So I just want to recap for those of you who just joined us what we did. I need to cut the video short at this point because we've done so much already that I don't want anybody. Um, first of all, you guys have been here forever, which I do appreciate. However, I know YouTube has some kind of policy where you can't be on for more than an hour and we're really already pushing that. So I want to show you guys what we did. So we did. We did foil on foil. Oops. So this is a mirror card butterfly that we did. And this is a stamp and cut. Um, stamp and cut die. From Crafter's Companion. It was on HSN. I don't know if it's still available. Or if you need to go back and look for it. It's a pretty large die. Okay. And then we foiled the waist. Okay, and then we went and did multi-surface for those of you that are into mixed media. And this is just a thin piece of wood with some adhesive on it. And we did the multi-surface foil on this. And then we also did it in green on burlap. And I know it's hard for the camera to pick up, but it is 100% fully foiled. Okay. Um, and then we did the pine cone using both sides of the dies. And again, it's a regular die cutting die. So this would be the cut side of the die, right? How you would normally run it through the machine and cut it out. Now, if you try to cut this out, you're going to cut out your foiling. So just keep that in mind. And then this is the back side. If we use the back side of the die, to foil it and then we also foiled and cut it out. And you could cut it out first and then foil it. It's personal preference how you guys wanna do that. Have you also done acetate? I have not done acetate. Do you guys wanna see acetate? I do have heat safe acetate. All right, we're going to try this Embossable Window Plastic from Judikins. We'll see how this works. I do have other acetate, but that's on the other side of the room, so we'll try this stuff first. So let me turn the machine back on, and let me read the directions for acetate. Acetate. Um, we're going to do low setting, 15 seconds. We'll do another Christmas die. Ooh, I know what we'll do. We're going to make a fancy shaker card. This one says, Happy New Year. We're going to turn this on to low. Let that heat up. We have a piece of the embossable window plastic, which I'm going to leave the paper on the back side and we'll emboss this side. I don't think it really matters. And we're going to go fancy here. We're going to use gold shimmer. Wow, I'm getting a lot of new fans today, guys. Too bad they're not invited to the party. Let's take them out. So this is some sparkly gold, gold shimmer it's called. And this is going to be cool with this Happy New Year card. And then we can make a shaker card later on. All right, he says he's ready to go. I'm gonna make 
sure this is pretty straight. Foil, we're going to take off some of the corners here because we don't want any of that excess foiling. All right, so put that down. Then we're gonna put our acetate down. So I wanna leave this paper on just so you guys can see it, but you would normally peel that paper off. Put our cover plate on. And it says, because this is a medium die on acetate, again, reading the instruction, foil stamp die, medium die, uh, acetate 15 seconds. Start that, and this is the regular paper craft foil roll gold shimmer on this. You guys, YouTube is going to send me a bad email and say we've been hanging out too long. Oops. I hope this worked. I'm afraid it wasn't long enough. All right, ready? <gasps> Do you guys see how cool this is? Fully foiled gold shimmer. Happy New Year. This is going to look so cool on the front of a shaker card. It is on Embossable. This is Judikin's Embossable Acetate. And again, this is using the gold shimmer. And we just did it on low for 15 seconds. So cool, right guys? <laughs> okay, so we've done a lot today. Any other suggestions? So we've done burlap, we've done wood, we've done acetate, we've done the front and back of dyes. We've done mirror card, we've done the waste. We did a lot today, guys. All right, so I think I'm gonna end this video now. Hi Kiki, way to be late. Barbara says vellum. Hold on, Barbara. Let's get the vellum out. Barbara wants vellum. She's going to get vellum. Okay, Barbara, we're already here, right? This is my cheapy pack of vellum. Oh, yeah, cardstock collector says the deer dies. Yeah, you're right. Let's just, uh, we'll do the deer on the vellum. Everybody say hi to my awesome sister who just joined us, who is, thank goodness, taking Thanksgiving dinner off my hands this year. So I just have to make what we call corn pie crack, which is um, corn pudding, which I discovered a few years ago. And now I can't stop making it. And it's like sweet corn, cream corn, sugar, vanilla, eggs. Um, corn um what is that called corn meal it's and it it bakes up to like a, a corn pudding it's pretty good okay let's do the deer dye we're gonna do the back side of the deer and we're gonna do it the way who was it that said let's cut it first now i can't find the text grace i think it was grace grace said cut it out first right 
So we're going to, this is an impression obsession die, which I wrote the name on. We're going to cut this little deer out and we're going to, we're going to, we're going to cut him out of the vellum because we're going to kill two birds with one stone here. Yes. Yes, Julie, I'm doing the vellum. We're cutting the deer out of the vellum. And we're going to do our little deer in let's see here. We're going to do our little deer in gold. So I have cut him out of the vellum. He is stuck in my plate now. I can't get him off the cutting plate. He is stuck. All right, there we go. Sometimes that happens because the Gemini is just so powerful. So foiling him this way with cutting the die is going to be very similar to foiling the waist. It's our dainty little vellum butterfly, I mean, stag, our little doe. I mean, Buck, man, you guys, I'm all full of words today. Here we go. All right, so he is cut out of vellum. I think the best way to do this guy, we're going to use our little gold paper foil. So the best way to do him is... Foil side, colored side down, ugly side up, because we want the ugly side to stick to him. We're going to put him down. We are going to put down our two shims. So two shims. We're going to put down our magnetic plate. And then we're going to put down our top plate, right? So just like foiling the waist. So we're going to turn this on to medium. And I think we said 45 seconds on medium. Julie says, can I see the mirror board? Julie, I did that at the very beginning. As soon as this is done, it will go into my library and then you'll be able to see how we did that. Yes. And it's going to come out likely. So we did do the mirror card. And then we foiled the waist. And we did wood. We did burlap. And we did vellum. And we did dyes. Front and back side of dyes. And I showed the Hero Arts Kit if you didn't get that. And I showed... A lot of the stuff that's going to be given away tomorrow when my son and daughter pick out the 5,000 subscriber giveaway boxes. That's right. I said boxes. If you didn't see the beginning of this video, there are three boxes going out. Four boxes? Four boxes of prizes going out. We are just waiting for this guy to heat up. And then we'll be able to continue with our demonstration. Any other questions you guys have for me? I love all your questions and comments. That's right. Five boxes of, four boxes of stuff I'm giving away. Four boxes. And you guys will be able to go to the beginning of this video and see what's in 
those giveaways. There's a winter box. There's a odds and end box. There's the paint palette. And there is a go press and foil. That's right, a go press and foil. All right, well, start. He's hot enough, 45 seconds. And if there's anything that you're not seeing or any of you that are catching this video after the live event and you have comments and questions, post them down below. If you like this video, you can scroll up and give me a thumbs up. That lets me know that you guys like this kind of stuff so I know what to work on for you. Um, and any suggestions or tips that you guys have, I appreciate them. I'm a consumer just like you guys. I am not a professional. I do not work for Crafters Companion. I do not work for HSN. So I have just been playing around with this thing just like you guys would. All right. Let's see how this works. Well, vellum didn't take so well. I really thought vellum would come out better, but paper did. Paper great. <laughs> Look how foiled that is. So I'm going to have to work on vellum. I'm going to put vellum on my homework list, guys. Let's see here. What's it say about vellum? Because I did medium 45 seconds in. That vellum did not take. Maybe I have to try a different vellum. He's kind of a distressed looking ear. I think I'm going to have to practice on the vellum, guys. Let me try one more thing since we're already here. Let's try the regular. Because I have the other piece of vellum here. We have this uh, piece on earth stamping foil. Let's see how it works if we just do it regular. And we are using that on low. So low. And he's a medium die. So vellum, medium die, low. It says 30 seconds in our little book. We're going to find out here if it was because we didn't have that extra heat. Because we didn't use the die. We used the die cut. We didn't actually have the metal under there. So this is what I do off camera when you guys aren't watching. Is I try changing the paper. I try changing the foil. I try um, changing the heat setting and the temperature settings. And then I make little notes to myself. Bye, Bunny. Thanks for joining us. Julie, um, international subscribers can take part in the um, paint palette one because I can put that one in an envelope. But unfortunately, the other boxes will be too big. Um, but yeah, you can go back to, um, you can comment on Facebook on Nancy Stamps under the giveaway. You can comment on Instagram under Nancy Stamps 15 under the giveaway. And then go back onto the YouTube video under Nancy Stamps and comment on the giveaway. All right, so this one we're actually going to use a die. We're using the gold paper foil. And we have our piece of vellum. And I think because the vellum didn't take right away on our little deer, we're going to shim this. And put our cover plate on. 30 seconds on low. Because here it says vellum, 
medium, low, 30 seconds, which is what all those dyes have been considered as medium so far. So we're, we weren't using the actual dye before, now we're using the actual dye. Goodbye, Sherry. That's what I'm thinking, Julie. That'll be the next um, tryout. All right, so we are pulling off our top plate. We're pulling off our magnetic plate. And because we did the magnetic plate with vellum, it was too sensitive and it split up our vellum. Yeah, that didn't work. Fail. Try again. We have another piece of vellum here. See, these are the experiments that I go through for you guys. So that way you guys don't waste your pretty foil. I'm almost out of this gold foil. And don't worry, I've done this to a couple of my magnetic mats. They go back. It's not a big deal. They go back to the way they were. I'm going to try this dough. And we'll try her on vellum in a second. Holly, what is the website and is it hot foil? Hello, Jenny. All right, that worked a little better. Still not great. It's still kind of spotty. See that? I think more heat, maybe, for this vellum. Maybe it's this type of vellum. Let's try one more time with the deer, the little other deer. Let's take this guy off of here. So I want to foil her backside. So I'm going to put the foil down. Put her down because we want to foil her backside. Let me cut this down a little bit. So I have the cutting side up because this is a die. So vellum, foil, die. We're going to consider this a medium die. I'm going to go to medium heat and see if that makes a difference on the vellum here. And medium 45 seems to always work for me, so I'm going to move our timer to 45 here. So we're going to wait for that to heat up to medium, because so far he didn't foil when we did the die cut. The Stampin' die did work. It didn't foil all the way, which they, I think we needed more time to transfer that. So now we're going to go medium heat, 45 seconds, and I'm going to read your questions. Yes, Holly, you have to use the Gemini or the Gemini Junior. So I am running them through. I know the Gemini is off camera, so you can't see it, but you probably can hear it. So I am using the Gemini Junior, which is what the foil press was um, designed for. You can't 
You're not supposed to use the Gemini foil press through any other machine but the foil, um, but the Gemini or the Gemini Junior, according to Crafter's Companion. Uh, yes, I have cut side up. I have the uh, full side flat down. Uh, the embossable acetate, you will have to search online. It was Judikins. Judikins embossable window plastic. And I want to say I got it from like scrapbook.com or one of those places. Okay, let's try here. This is vellum try number three. see if this works so you can see cut side up I can't figure out what I do with my tweezers because those dies get pretty toasty Nope. All right. I'm going to try. Let's up the heat here. Let's go to high heat and let's do 15 seconds. And it could be the vellum that I'm using. I'm using this graphics vellum. It could be this type of vellum. I'll have to try with other vellum. Wait for the heat up, 15 seconds. That's what I'm thinking, Holly. But if it didn't stick, why would it stick to the um, the acetate? Because the acetate's completely smooth, and it didn't need anything to adhere to there. Yeah, I guess I need to try the thicker vellum. Let's see here. Yep, still not working. So I'm going to experiment with this, guys. This is going to be my homework now that I know that vellum is not working to figure out what temperatures and what heat settings we need to use on the vellum because at this point, the vellum is a fail for us. So I will try that. Um, but everything else worked okay. I do not have any onion skin paper, so I can't try that out for you guys. Um, but we did have some fun today. We did do a lot of experimenting and I will put the vellum on my homework list and we'll try to work that out and then stay tuned tomorrow because we're going to do the giveaway announcements tomorrow. Again, um, we have the winter giveaway box. We have the odds and end giveaway box. We have um, the paint palette, which I will send the paint palette international if an international person wins that one. And then I'm going to give away my um, Go Press and Foil because I'm not using it. Um, but the Go Press and Foil works just as good as this machine, and it goes through a manual die cutter. It just doesn't have the timer, and it doesn't have the different heat settings on it. So that's all we have for tonight. Again, if you have any questions, post your comments or questions down below. If you like this video, you can scroll up and give me a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions you want to ask me without going through here, you can email me the old-fashioned way. The email is nancystamps15 at gmail.com. A lot of you have emailed me questions, and I've been able to answer them for you. All right. 
And that's all we have for today. As always, I appreciate you guys. I really appreciate that we got to 5,000 subscribers. I'm very excited to do this giveaway with you guys. Thank you for watching. And as always, keep on stamping. Bye.